In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, as we continue reading about the Jews of hell, we are going to continue meditate about what go, what was going on. I hope we remember where we stopped by yesterday. Now we are going to continue. Brothers and sisters, Amo Marie Louise Umumararungo. Right before my eyes, the woman changed into a man, a cat, a horse, a snake, a rat, and a young man. Whatever she chose to be, she was. She had the great evil power. At the top of her, of her room was written, Queen of Satan. The animal moved on for what seemed like hours and then it stopped with a jolt i was thrown over the animal and onto the ground i looked up and saw an army of men on horseba horseback reading told me I was forced to do, to decide as they passed as they passed. They also were skeletons with the dingy gray color of death. After they passed, I was picked up from the ground and put in a cell. As someone locked the door, I looked around the cell in horror, in horror and cried. I prayed but without hope. I cried and repented a thousand times for my sins. Yes, I thought of my of many things I could have done to to lead others to Christ and to help someone when they needed me. I repented of the things I had done and the things I had left undone. Oh Lord, save me, I cried. Over and over, I called out to God to help me. I could not see him or feel him. I was in hell, just like the rest of the ones I had seen. I fell to the floor in pain and cried. I felt I was forever lost. Hours went by, and every so often the loud sound came again, and, uh, and other soul fell into hell. I kept calling out, Jesus, where are you? No answer came. The worms began again to crawl inside my spirit form. I could feel them all inside me. Death was everywhere. I had no flesh, no organs, no blood, no body, and no hope. I kept pulling, pulling worms out of my skeleton form. I knew everything that was happening, and I wanted to die, but could not. My soul would, would be alive forever. I began to sing about the life and the power in the blood of Jesus, which is able, able to save from sin. 
When I did, large demons with the spears came and screamed, Stop it! They, st they stabbed me with their spears, and I felt the hot freshes of fire as the pins went into my form. Over and over, they stabbed me. They, ch they chant, they chant, Satan is God here. We hate Jesus and all, the, all he stands for. When I would not stop singing, they took me out of the cell and dragged me to a large opening. If you do not be quiet, they said, your torment will be greater. I stopped singing and at long last, they put me back into the, the cell. I remembered the Bible verse about the fallen angels who were deserved in a chain until final judgment. I wondered if this was my judgment. Lord save the people on earth, I cried. Wake them up before it is too late. Many scriptures came to my mind, but I feared the demons and did not say them. Moans and scream filled the dirty, the dirty air, a rat crowd near me. I kicked it away. I thought of my husband and children. Oh God, don't let them come here. I cried for I knew for sure I was in hell. God could not hear me. The ears of the Almighty are closed to the cries of hell. I thought, if only someone would listen. A large rat ran up my leg and bit me. I screamed up. Uh, I screamed and pulled pulled it off. There was a great flash of pain. A fire out of nowhere began to slowly burn toward me. Seconds, minutes, hours went by. I was a sinner gone to hell. Oh death, please come, I cried. My cries seemed to feel, to feel the whole joys of hell. Others joined in my cries, lost forever, no way. I wanted to die, but I couldn't. Brothers and sisters, one time we call upon the, uh, the death, but we will not find it. Now death is something bad to us, but that time of suffering, we will wish we could, we could meet death, but we will not meet it, because death will also be stopped for eating our bodies. Brothers and sisters, repent when it is the time.
don't worry my brothers and sisters because the Bible is comforting us hallelujah it is telling us about the defeat of Satan this is the book of Revelation chapter 20 from verse 7 the defeat of Satan after the thousand years over after the thousand years are over Satan will be laid loose from his prison and he will go out to deceive the nations scattered over the whole world that is Gog and Magog Satan will bring them all together for battle as many as the grains of sand on the sea hall and they spread out over the earth and surrounded the camp of God's people and the city that uh, that he loves but fire came down from heaven and destroyed them the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the first prophet had already been thrown and they will be tormented day and the night forever and ever amen then i saw a great white throne and the one who sits on it earth and heaven freed from him his presence and we see no more and i saw the dead great and small alike standing before the throne books were opened and then another book book was opened the book of living dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books then the sea gave gave up its dead death and the weight of the dead also gave up dead they held and all were judged according to what they had done then death and the world of the dead were thrown into the lake of fire the, this lake of fire is the second death whoever did not have their names written in the book of living were thrown into the lake of fire my brothers and sisters this is what we have to know about what we are reading let's continue with this chapter 20, 21 21st from verse 1st so first verse then i saw a new heaven and a new earth the first heaven and the first earth disappeared and the sea vanished and i saw the holy city the new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god prepared and ready like a bride dressed to meet her husband i heard a loud voice speaking from the throne now god's home is with the human beings he will live with them and they shall be his people god himself will be with them and he will be their god he will wipe away all tears from their eyes there will be no more death hallelujah no more grief or crying or pain the old things have disappeared then the one who is who sits on the throne said and now i make all things new he also said to me write this because the these words are true and can be trusted and he said it is done i'm the first and the last the beginning and the end to anyone who is thirsty I will give the right to drink from the spring of the water of life without paying for it. Those who win the victory will receive this from me 
I will be their God and they will be my children. But cowards, traitors, perverts, murderers, the immoral, those who practice magic, those who worship idols and all liars, the place for them is the lake burning with the fire and sulfur, which is the second death. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, the second death will be the first and the second will be and the second is the the, the time when nobody could die no more brothers and sisters i want you to be good to be children of god so that you will be rewarded may god bless you in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen